Hello, welcome back to Fairview in 5. I'm Lauren with your entertainment, sports, and weather. So let's get started. First in sports, the NBA, Saturday, March 4th, the Nuggets take the Hornets at 9 o'clock, so hope you're up to watch it. Then Beauty and the Beast comes out March 17, 2017, about the fantastic journey of Bella, a bright, beautiful young woman who is taken to prison by a beast in a castle. That, to watch the trailer, go to beautyandthebeast2017.com. Finally, today is a high of 41 degrees and a low of 24. Friday, a high of 32 and a low of 16. Saturday also is a high of 36 and a low of 20. <laughs> Hope you like my new segment. Now, now you're up for it. I hope you're up for a debate because now on to Andrew and Emma with a debate. Thank you, Lauren. Hello, I'm Emma. And I'm Andrew. Today's debating topic will be cell phone usage in schools. I think that students should be allowed to have cell phones in school. I think that students should not be allowed to have, use cell phones in schools. Now let's start the debate. Cell phones can be used in an emergency to alert the authorities and parents. But if students were in an emergency, somebody who works at the school would most likely contact a parent or guardian. Cell phones can be used to help students study. If students wanted to study on their phone, they should do it outside of school, and in school they should have their notes. Cell phones can simply be taken away if a student is caught cheating. Some students are good at hiding their phones and can even go as far as manipulating the teacher. Having a cell phone makes students feel more secure. Students shouldn't be so attached to their phones. Cell phones can be used as calculators so schools don't have to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on normal calculators. The school should already have calculators from past years. There's a smaller chance of phones being stolen if students have them in his or her pocket. Students should even bring phones to school. Students could use his or her cell phone to send information to their fellow classmates to help them study. Again, if they don't have their notes or work, they can have their parents or themselves text the student. Cell phones can be used as electronic dictionaries. There are there's dictionaries in the school, and it's also good to know how to use a dictionary. Instead of schools spending tons of money on paper books they could, that could get damaged or lost, students could download e-books on their cell phones. Certain books cost more, and children would end up using their money or their parents' money, but the school may download the books, though it would still cost them money either way. What do you guys think? Should schools allow cell phone usage? We will be placing a ballot box by the trophy case in the lobby. Be sure to vote, and next week the winner will be the winning topic will be announced. Now to Grace and Anna with the science experiment. Thanks, Andrew and Emma. Hi, this is Grace Patrick and Anna Vecino with a new segment, the, the science, science segment. segment. I performed this experiment in Mr. Z's in Mr. Z's first science fair Friday. My experiment was how to build a simple motor. Anna has agreed to help demonstrate this with me. We will demonstrate and explain why the simple motor works. How this works is the electrons move in a one-way direction in the magnetic field, which causes the motor to spin. This is called the Lorentz force. The Lorentz force is only present when the wire is touching the battery and the magnet at the same time. Now to Anna to show you how to do this. Thanks, Grace. What you'll need is a 1.5 volt D battery, a very strong magnet, a copper wire, and a screw. First, you're going to place the magnet on the, on the table. Next, you're going to put the screw in the middle of the magnet. Next, you're going to put the screw in the center of the battery, the bottom of the battery. And then you're going to pick it up. And then next, you're going to put take your wire and, take, and put it on the top of the um, battery and to the side of the magnet and watch your simple motor at work. We hope you enjoyed the new segments. Thanks for watching Fairview and Five. Have a great day. Thank you, Emma. I mean. <laughs> oh my God. Hello, welcome back to Fairview and Five. I'm Lauren with all of your entertainment, sports. I messed up. Thanks, Aiden, Andrew, and Emma. Wow, that was a great, great. Um, sorry.